in backgrounds, there is a way to add your own custom backgrounds instead of using the pre-built colors or the pre-built backgrounds. And the way that we're gonna do this is we're actually gonna start in our cloud storage. So OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever your cloud storage is. So in our cloud storage, you should have a folder called My View Board. It's automatically installed when you sign into myviewboard.com the first time. Inside here, there's a folder called Background. If you don't have a folder called Background, just go ahead and create one. Let's open it. And inside, you're going to see that I already have some images inside background, JPEG and PNG. Obviously, larger size images will display better and won't be pixelated. So upload any images that you want to set as backgrounds, and then let's head back over to Whiteboard. Now, if I want to activate a custom background, I need to go to the Follow Me settings, which is this person holding their arms up. And here you'll see all the backgrounds that I have synced. Now, when you have a background that you want to apply, go ahead and click on it or touch it, and then choose this page to set it as the background image. Notice that because this is big, it's a little better quality. Now, another way I can add background images is actually by imported images. So we're going to go to the magic box and let's import an image. We'll go to image search. And let's search for some mountains. Now, you'll notice that by each image, there's a little description of the size of the image. So you can see here 3000 by 2000, and it's a JPEG. That's the number of pixels of the image. And the more pixels, the higher quality the image is. So it won't be all stretched out like this one down here is a pretty big image. So choose your image that you want to add by clicking and dragging onto the canvas or double clicking. And then once you have your image, what you're going to do is you're going to click on that image and then the adorning menu is going to appear on the right. This is where you can modify or edit the image. But the one button we want to focus on is this background apply button. And so it's there on the bottom left corner. So when you click or touch this icon, it's going to take that image and set it as your background image.